In the past, we have looked how to use OpenAI models, how to rely on Amazon Bedrock API or SageMaker, but what if you actually want to take an open source model and run it on your own, either on your local machine or maybe somewhere in the cloud? And that's why in this video I want to talk about Olama, a platform which can make this process easy, friendly and someone even can say lazy. So we are going to re-implement an example which we have done in the past with Amazon Bedrock. But now we are going to use two models from Olama or supported by Olama. We are going to use an embedding model for the vectors and we are going to use a large language model to create this a memory service so that our large language model will be able to reference extended context so that we are going to use retrieval augmented generation pattern. And in this version, we are going also to rely on in-memory vector store so that we don't have to make any external calls at all. Olama supports multiple models. Here are some examples and we are going to use Llama and another model which is not on the list, but we are going to use it for embeddings. Uh, to install Olama, to set it up on my machine, I'm going to use a Docker. I'm going to pull the Docker image. Now we can run it. And now we can start the models. So there is an example of Llama 3 over here. We can just copy and run that one. This started the model and now we can ask different questions. I don't know what is the distance between Earth and Moon. Let's see what it will reply. Okay, good. It answers us, so it works. Uh, we will very politely say uh, bye. And we'll add another model. This one for the embeddings, and there are a variety of models which we can use. We are going to use this Nomic embed text. Uh, I do believe that actually it's been installed. I already had it installed before, so it indeed doesn't support chat but it also didn't download any files like it did when I ran it for the first time. So for you, it will show a bit different uh, process because it will load and pull everything uh, from the Docker uh, hub. But for now, we can move to the coding part. As a basis for this project, I will take something which we have created in the past. This is our memory service. Um, and I'm going to uh, copy the main files so that we can just adjust those now to use Olama. Uh, however, the reference to that GitHub repository as well as the previous videos uh, you can find in the description um, and the new code in a GitHub repository also will be there. So uh, previously what we had, we had a memory service. And in our memory service, we had two main methods. We had the methods to store a memory and then to uh, get relevant memory through conversation with a chatbot. And then uh, in the past, we used uh, a large language model. So this is our retrieval augmented generation pattern. So we needed a large language model and I was using Bedrock. Um, and also we used an embeddings model so that the information which we add as a memory, as a context, then is transformed into a vector and then it is stored in a vector store and we were using open search in the past. So we are going to replace all these uh, three pieces now with something new. For the large language model, we are going to use a model uh, from Olama, so which we just installed, the Llama model. So instead of new bedrock chat, we have Olama chat or new chat Olama. Uh, and here we specify which model we want to use, uh, the temperature and other parameters which you want to have. I just took the default, or well, not default ones, but those which I found in the documentation. Uh, but you can add here more stuff. 
Then for the embeddings model, uh, similarly, we'll use the Olama model, the Nomic embed text, which we have installed just recently. And here we also provide uh, the URL how it can be accessed. And this is default URL. I haven't changed anything. So this is what comes from the Docker. Uh, and finally, for the vector store. So here um, we are not going to use open search this time. We are going to use in memory vector store. And obviously a memory vector store is not something durable, is not something you can rely and keep for the long time. However, for some use cases, memory vector store is totally sufficient. And maybe if you are prototyping, you're experimenting with your code, you don't want to have uh, to make some external uh, calls to some external storage and you just want to save stuff locally. So let's do that. For this, we are going to clean up the open search store. We don't really need it anymore for this scenario. And instead of uh, the vector store for open search, we are going to use the in memory one. Here we uh, specify the embeddings model so that we have this kind of a combination. We have a vector store and also the model, which is responsible to translate the text, which we provide, the memories, which we provide into the embeddings, into vectors. And then those vectors are stored in the vector store. Let me include all the dependencies. And of course, I totally forgot to install all the libraries which we will need. So we will need Langchain itself for working with the rack pattern and the Langchain for Olama. Uh, let me install and add those into the project. And meanwhile, we can clean up the old imports which I have. So we don't need bedrock for this example. We also don't need dot env because in the past we were storing in dot env the credentials for Amazon and for open search and we don't have it anymore. Uh, the same for the open search uh, and this can be also cleaned up. Now we can add the dependencies. Hmm. I believe we don't need this dist, otherwise it will give us an exception. And finally, the last piece we need to change is when we are storing a memory, when we are sending their document, we no longer rely on the open search uh, vector store, but we are relying on the uh, in-memory vector store, which we have added. And it accepts also the documents, so more or less the same. And this, I believe, all the changes which we need to do. So again, we have our large language model. We don't need the index anymore. Uh, we have our large language model uh, to be a chatbot. We have the embeddings model to translate the memory into a, a vector and then the vector store to store all of those memories. And then we have the store memory method and get relevant me memory a method as well. So in the run method, we provided with an idea that Dora is a German shepherd who lives with Bob. I have no idea who is Bob and uh, this is not part of any large language model. So we will see what actually it will um, reply to us who is Dora. And we can do the node run and see if it will fail. So uh, cannot import statement. Outside. Okay, this is because the uh, type module is not provided in the package JSON. We can fix this by adding the line and we can run it again. We successfully indexed the document. And now let's see if it will give us a reply. Yeah. According to the given context, Dora is a German shepherd dog. And this is how you can run models on Olama platform and then use those models, for example, for this lang chain example for the retrieval augmented generation um, or for other things you want to do. And I totally appreciate Olama platform and make it easy to run those uh, large language models on my local machine.